archery and now local 15's Kelly Foster is showing us how students are farming crawfish and other species. Kel, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm in Alma Bryant High School. This week's school, School of the Week. I'm in the aquaculture department where they're growing crawfish. They also have a pond with bass and brim. They're growing lettuce, and they have an oyster farm out in the Mississippi Sound. Here's more about what they're doing in the classroom in this report. This is an Australian red claw crawfish. This is the male. Each one of these cages here, we have 25 females and five males in. Students here already live in a coastal seafood agricultural community, so it benefits them to learn about a bona fide aquaculture operation. Some topics include polyculture, which is growing multiple species in the same tank, and aquaponics, which is growing land plants with their roots in aquaculture water. What you have is a complete ecosystem here. You have the producer, which is the lettuce, the consumer, which is the crawfish, and then the decomposer, which is the bacteria. Well, as red crawfish aren't in season right now, they're always in season here at Alma Bryan High School. I like the hands-on experience. We usually just handle the crawfish and take them from one tank to another and then separate them by their male and female, whether they have eggs or not. These species have good economic potential for the school, which shows students that an aqua business can be successful. It's 50 cents a piece, so that's $5,000, and that's one of the ways that we help to pay for this. I mean, it's expensive to operate. We have feed costs, we want to expand, uh, so, and also too, it's a good way to teach kids basic economics. They're also starting an oyster farm. Oystering is part of the heritage in this part of the country. We think that the off-bottom oyster farming is going to be big business here. We want them to come out of high school with a, a good future. And I have the aquaculture teacher right here, Julian Stewart. And tell us about this crawfish right here. This one is obviously about to be laying some eggs. How much is this one worth? Well, this is a female red claw. She has probably about 300 eggs. And, you know, we're essentially operating a nursery hatchery. And we sell the juveniles for 50 cents a piece. So she's got about $150 potential right here attached to her abdomen. So the crawfish themselves sell for in the 10 to $12 pound range. But she's worth a lot more to us in this kind of state. And you're worth a lot here to this school. You just won Secondary Teacher of the Year from Mobile County. Were you excited about that? Oh yes, yeah. It was a surprise. Uh, like I say, I thought there was too many other teachers deserving to single out one, but I'm not going to argue with them. Well, you know what? I think you're one of the reasons Alma Bryan is this week's Cool School of the Week. Very impressed here. Again, the Aquaculture Department raising crawfish lettuce and bass and brim and of course oysters out in the Mississippi Sound. Back to you guys. That is a definition of cool school right Definitely. there. Definitely. Crawfish caviar. Mmm. 3D. You should have heard these two squeal when they <laughs> held up those big pinchers. Mm, those. Mm, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> it, it, was was the, it was the egg. Was the egg. That bothered you? A couple hundred. Little. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, well. But, uh, you Kudos to him uh, for the dubious uh, honor and award that he's received as being a great teacher, because obviously it shows. Well, they are learning things that they can take on the job with them, and that is one of the coolest things about schools that we profile, is they are learning to make a living and, and just be somebody. You were I love setting that. up your lunch date, is what you were doing, because you were... <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, good job, Kelly. You did a great job with the story. You did sure you? did. All right. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll take a look at your weekend forecast with meteorologist Jason Kate. But first, let's take a look at what's ahead on the Today Show. Good morning. Straight ahead on a Friday edition of Today, we have complete coverage of this morning's verdict in the Oscar Pistorius murder.